Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Illinois Fighting Illini and the Arkansas Razorbacks. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Razorbacks should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them, though? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. Number one, it's up to the point guard to be the leader to control the entire tempo of the game. Second, get the ball on the interior. See if you can get their big men into foul trouble. And lastly, grab the boards, baby. Make it a habit. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, Flop City! I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Inside, number three handles the feed. He draws a foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Now they work it around the perimeter. He looks for three, gets it to fall. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribble. Ware receives the ball. He fires from long range. Way off target. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> he stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Goes up for two. And he scores it off the glass. Number three is animated and ready to go. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. That's a high post screen, goes to the lane. Joe's patience waiting for the reset. He's got some room. He shoots. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Number three receives the pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the keys. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The skip pass is picked off. With a little baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Fed the low block, steals a pass. Trying to pack it inside. He makes a nice shot fake. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Inside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? They work the perimeter. Three. He drains the shot. That's seven unanswered. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets it to fall. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Uh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. 
It's <laughs> time for the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walked with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. For two, perfectly executed. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He keeps the dribble as they reset. They work it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Step out on that screener. Buried it. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Good job defensively. He'll regroup the offense. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. The power forward handles the pass. Number three is called for the foul. First personal foul. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I think he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Stolen away. Moving it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Illinois are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Goes up for two. The land. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. In the paint. There's the trap. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. to take that to the basket. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He dials long distance. Drains it. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take... Whistle blown, basket's good, and one. That's concentration, baby. 
The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. They're definitely having some fun out there. Grant goes to the line for the first time. He makes it. for two. He shows a sweet touch. I need to see that again in slow-mo. Double team now. Bad angle. He's going nowhere. Ball Turnover. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams, and as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Set that screen away. And they get the turnover. With a light steal attempt, the defense is looking at a great block shot. Momentary look from three-point land. Time to pick up the defense here now. He puts up the three ball. Goes in. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Here's a flash from the high post. He tries to knock down the three. Off the rim and no good. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Both teams are looking to get something going here. For two, and off the mark. And he scores despite the hack. Gave it up. He shoots from downtown. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. He up fakes. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Goes up for two. I tell you, does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Up and inside. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. There's a double team waiting there. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He strokes it way off target. Picked out of the air. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. We get another look. Dick, not a bad 
drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. On the top of the key. Illinois have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. There's a high screen. Great play to take that to the basket. Brand is emotionally pumped up. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. For the bucket. Basket falls despite the contact. They work the perimeter in the paint. Here's a double team. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Off the rim and no good. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Easy one. <laughs> Dump it inside. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. There's the pick. Let's it fly. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. There's the trap. He takes the shot from the baseline. Knocks it down. Offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Number three to the line, shooting two. Hits the first shot. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And the ball goes out of bounds. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. On the dribble, gives it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Picked off. Got some room. Stop and pop. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby.
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Intercepted. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Block shot usually creates momentum and opportunities. He hits it. Entry pass in the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent for guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Sets the screen for his teammate. Let's see it if the replay does that any justice. to get the D to bite. There's the screen up on top. Nails the fade. On the outside. Trying to draw the foul. That's good. Two for one opportunity. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from left of the circle. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Working it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. They work the perimeter. Fires away. Dickey's in a serious rhythm. Man, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. On the outside, gave it up, puts it up, looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover racers are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Takes the shot. And one too many dribbles and a steal. No good. At halftime, the Fighting Illini are up by four. This one's too close to call here at the end of the first. Dick, do you have a highlight of the half? My highlight of the first half has to be this trifecta, Brad. It showed another one of the deadly weapons that this team has offensively. I expect more of that in the second half. Well, let's head back down to the court for the start of the second half. Arkansas just couldn't seem to stop turning the ball over in that first half, Dick. 
hey, if you ask me, these guys haven't clued on the magnitude of this game yet. They need to take care of the ball from here on in, or they have no shot, and they'll be running lots of laps tomorrow in practice. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Jumps into the defender. Nice shot. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Pushing that basketball. High post flashes for the ball handler. The power forward gets the ball. He takes the three. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot move go. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Kicks it out. Kicks off the lazy pass. Easy dude coming here, Brad. For two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Here's the offensive drop step and the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Pump thanks. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, didn't waste any time. You got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Moving it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. show Brad I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing tries for two and he missed turnover city that will always really negate any offense I tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on a box high post flashes he shoots from the top of the key. He buries it. Well, is encouraging the fans to keep cheering. Well, he wants the crowd to get up for this defensive possession. He gets that one to fall. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because... Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. They're working around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. paint. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. And now they'll bring it up. 
Gave it up. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Perfectly executed. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He knocks down another bucket. There. This kid's got skills, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up, takes away the pass. The point guard with the ball. Dump it inside. Great defense. Gave it up. The point guard gets the pass. Up and in. On the dribble, gives it up. Now the high screen. Great play to take that to the basket. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. For the bucket, goes. Jumped in front to take it away. On the outside, in the post. Looking for the foul. Up, easy one. Steals the pass. Dumas draws the personal. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. I'll tell you what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Gets his first. Gets two at the charity strike. him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He intercepts it. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He shows the sweet touch. The fighting Illini are down by four. The power forward takes the feed. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish a good tempo. They've got a player spotting up on the three. On the outside. Gotta take some pride on a defensive end. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Fakes the jumper. Nicky's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Working it around the perimeter. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. He intercepts it. He shoots from right of the circle. 
Illinois have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. The center takes the pass. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Gave it up. That's been moved. Not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. For two, he doesn't get the hook. Then he pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line for the first time. No rebounding that. That's an 8-0 run. He hits the second. That's a 9-0 run. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Goes up for two. Let's see that up close. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Robs him of the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Double team now, bad angle. Got a wide open look. He lets it go. The ball goes out of bounds. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 55 with the fake. Take it away. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Number three takes the pass in the paint. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. With the free one. He hits his first.
hits the second shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. And the ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Picks off the lazy pass. It's a fast break possibility. Goes up for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Off the rim and no good. Applying pressure. On the outside. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The Fighting Illini lead by nine. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the three. Illinois are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. On the outside. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries a three. They let him get into a rhythm. <laughs> Takes away the pass. Up fake. High post player flashing. In the paint. For two, he puts it in with contact and all. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that close position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. the bucket and he can't hit the shot problem with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see raw man that's essential when you play on there and you're fronting and a momentary look from three-point land he shoots from outside Arkansas is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really at Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots from the top of the circle. Comes up empty. Oh, he's not going to be happy with that ball. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Number 32 checks in for the first time. I'll tell you, this is what they need coming off the bench, Brad. 
He'll go to the line. Makes his first. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Foul shot, no good. Secures the board. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the pass break. He dials long distance. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. That I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. They're working around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Trying to draw some contact. They can't stop this guy, Dick. You want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Guns up the deep one. Good. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of play. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, locking shots, rotating shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Tries for two. Pump fakes. Here's a double team. Takes it off him. Illinois on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, that'll keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Picked out of the air. Jumps in. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Porter comes up with it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. No good from the field. surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. He shoots from left to the circle. Not there. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. For the deuce. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. They're working around the arc. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. He tries the three ball. Sinks the shot. This game's out of reach. Yeah, now it's about damage control. Good time to get some of the bench players into the game to avoid injury. Here we go on the break. the ball. Transition opportunity coming up for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. 
Full of Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Dick, I think the better team won, we can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but, you know, you've got to win it and keep on going when you get to that final Monday night in April. Well, I'll tell you, what this game ran, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job on that team. Check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Illinois came, they saw, and they caught.